what's up, dude? Hey, what's up, what's up? Let me, uh, let me see if I can pull, pull a ride in there, too, man. I think you can do more than one, eh? See, there you go. Invite. What's up, Rob? Hey, dude, look at that boy. Look at that three way right there, man. What's up, Ghost? <laughs> I'm technical, bro. I'm technical. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. What's up, Ryan? Oh, man, everything good, bro. How you doing, man? We lost, sir. Uh, what happened to the chat, man? We lost? I, I think so. We might have lost them. Hold on. Tell them to get back in there, man. Let's get them back in. Yeah, you got to you gotta log back in or something. Let me see. Let I had him just clear as day, man. <laughs> yeah, you got to get back on because I don't see him. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to hit him up right now to see. Yeah, man, he might have got a call or something, you know. <laughs> if y'all put them phones on, if y'all put them phones on, do not disturb the shit, bro. It knocks you off, you know. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Okay, he said he sent a request. Hold on. Okay. Uh, reply, go live with That's what we want to do, go live with him. All right. I think he's about to come on now. Oh, hey. Hey, hey what's up? Hey. Yeah, he, he went and he went to tight. He got to go Hollywood. Got to be the last one to come on. I see what he's doing. You think I don't know? I know what you're doing. <laughs> What's up, fella? Yeah, buddy, you here? Yeah, man. Uh, I had a little technical technical difficulties with the. I had two guests. I had a guy from Philly was coming on. He's undefeated lightweight, and then I had you guys after. And I can't get it together with him. I said, I called right. I said, man, let's run it, man. Shit. Yeah. I'm not I'm not too uh technically savvy, so it might be something I did. I don't know. Right. Uh fellas. <laughs> Ryan, did you tell your guy you was by the gym the week before the fight? Uh yeah, yeah, I told him. I told him. You told him what I said was gonna happen? Oh, he sure <laughs> did, man. He he knew. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and, and he knew, too. Uh, he said, Coach, he said, Coach, he said, man, I, I don't know. Uh, why you think this kid wanted to fight Julio? Now, I don't know Julio like that, but we've met him shit before. I said, but, uh, yeah, that's a bad fight, man. That never that don't make no sense. I don't know either. And I, I think I told Ryan, I said, I said, long as Julio's in shape, man, tell him go far, but they're just mauling and, and, and what are you going to do? And that's exactly what the fuck was that. I was watching that fight, I said. I said, man, cause I don't like to see nobody lose. You know what I'm saying? Right. I got to stay, I got to stay impartial, right? If I'm calling the fights, I got to stay impartial, but I'm going. Absolutely. I said, I said, man, that's round one. I said, I tell uh, Mac and, and Fresh, I said, I said, all right, that's one nothing. And then uh, two round three, round four, I said, man, I, I, I'm about four nothing right now, man. What y'all got? <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was like, yeah, man, who goes to And it was one round, bro, that you took off, took your break, and I gave that round to him. So I ended up having 5-1, uh, 5-1 uh, for the fight. But Shane, y'all, your, your gym mate, Shane was right there in front of me, right when we was posted up. And he had look back like this. And I, one nothing, <laughs> two nothing. And he said, that's what I'm seeing, too. And, and, and at the end of the fight, uh, show you how, how boxing is, man. Green, who whose ref 
some of my guys, Buku types, the one who ref y'all. No, 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 he was one of the judges for y'all. And he was the one that gave the guy. And uh, he came to buy the podcast and checked in and said, he said, man, that was a good fight. I said, yeah, man. I said, I said, well, what you was looking at? And he said, he said, uh, man, I thought, I thought the young kid was moving and staying away and not letting, not get, getting hit clean. And then he go, he go, but I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Yeah, you was wrong, man. Everybody in this whole fucking place see what just happened, man. <laughs> but, uh, uh yeah. yeah, man. So, all right, tell me about it, Julio. Tell me about it, bro. Preparation. How you felt going into the fight? What was the plan? Man, uh, it, was ahead, long, bro. it was a long uh, preparation for this fight. You know, even I was already uh, working out. I already have been working out for a while. You remember for some other fights that have fell off, like two other fights have fell off. We was just staying in shape. You know, I was, I was staying in weight. I, didn't, I stayed in weight like for a good uh, five months. You know, uh -huh. I mean, just uh, walking at 140, 135, backing up, you know. And then uh, <clears throat> this fight came came across, you know. Like, first, you know, they offered me a fight in San Antonio, and I was like, well, just send me the information. And then they asked me, you know, what, what weight they were off, what, what, what weight I was fighting, and I told them 135, 140. So that's when they threw Velasquez at me, and I was like, come on with it. And uh, right. I never knew it was going to be for a title until like later on, like I think a day later, I found, the next day I found out after I already had signed a contract. But uh -huh. I, I told the matchmaker, man, like, are y'all sure that these people are taking the fight? Cause I was surprised myself, you know, that, you know, that, that they, they took it. Cause I, you know, I, I've been in situations, they'd be like, yeah, and then you signed the contract and then they later on tell you, oh, you know, yeah, it's not gonna happen, you know? So I just had to be yeah. sure, sure, for sure that, they were taking it, you know. But anyways, I was still always serious in the gym, you know. I'm always, you know, trying to stay in shape. I believe in staying ready. Just like, you know, um, you know, I just want, I just won this fight. I know I, I'm a, like, I'm a, I'm a target. I got a target on my back now, you know. So right, you know, I, right. I gotta stay ready too, you know. I ain't gonna stop, you know, until, you know, until like, until the game is over for me. But I'm still in it. Well, you uh, were you familiar with the young kid? You watched his fights and stuff. He been fighting local or what? Yeah, I seen one of his fights, and we sparred him. We sparred him a long time ago, like uh, before the COVID had started. We had sparred a guy, the kid, and uh, he wasn't bad. He's fast. Yeah, but you know he's fast. You know I, I, don't, I don't take nothing away from him. He's good. You know, it just you know I just felt like I uh, I, I I I I felt like I was like you know a little better than him, and you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, and I know that I have a, a little bit of more experience than he does, you know. So, you right. know, I, I, just, I just know the only thing I had to do was stay in shape, you know, and uh, come with everything I had. He, uh, I'm sure, you know, they planned on winning and, and, and all that stuff. I, I can't imagine uh, them not wanting to reach out for a rematch and, and as fast as possible. Uh have they reached out to y'all and stuff or what? Uh, well, yeah. Have they reached out? Well, yeah, the, the, well, literally the next day, uh, next day <laughs> the next day in the morning, uh, matchmaker uh, texts me asking me, you know, if uh, if I, uh, for the rematch, and I was like, well, I still, you know, said, you know, I had to talk to my team and see what we, what we was gonna do, but you know, like I got a vacation that I I had postponed. Uh, uh, around the same time of the fight that weekend, I was supposed to be in South Padre Island, so I had to postpone it for the next month. So you know, in July, so yeah, I, I, do. I still gotta go enjoy that, you know. But right, yeah. right. Is the is the plan to get a kid a rematch after, or what? Oh, you don't know yet. Oh man, we we we're gonna work on it. We're gonna work oh. on that rematch. I know everybody. Yeah. Wants, I know a lot of people ask me about it, and a lot of people want to see it. You know, you know we, how uh, how long how long have you you two guys been working together? Three years, I think. Two years or three years, Julio. I, I say three. Even when three. Yeah, we're going for three. I mean, when we were so, in the garage. 
So the chemistry and all that, y'all been together. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Oh. Good deal. I think uh I actually they tell me how long that's been. I, I know I said Robert to spar with Julio one time. He went with Jaime. And I think it was by uh by uh Coach Ray. Oh yeah, Coach Ray. Yeah. Uh Rest well, Coach Coach Ray. Yeah, yeah, Coach Ray. Yes. So that was a while ago then, huh? Yeah, that was a while ago. Ooh, that was a long time ago then. I'm tripping. Uh, but yeah, right, Riley, right, when they reached out, man, <clears throat> I assume, well, who was the matchmaker on this? Uh, it was uh, Lynn's, Collins. There's a couple, yeah. Okay, so she probably just called uh, uh, Julio when she should have called you. Who, 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 who she called? Julio? Yeah, she she. Yeah, she had Julio up, and then uh, Julio gave me the information, so I called her, and I spoke to oh, her. Yeah. Just to confirm, you know, I was like, hold up, you know, you sure, you know, like, this is right? So, so you get the call, uh, uh, Julio lets you know, hey, coach, uh, uh, GNM's reaching out, they want to know if we want to fight, uh, guy, what, what's your immediate reaction? Oh, absolutely, I fucking right away, that's why I was like, I, you know, I called her to just to make sure, you know, I was like, well, let me double check, man, because I'm like, you sure? I even told Julio, I'm like, you sure it's Juan Velasquez El Gallo? He was like, yeah, bro. I was like, hold up, man. So I called her, I was like, let me confirm that, because, you know, I was like, yeah, what job, but that's, that's, hell yeah. Here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. Now, now look, I'm live on Instagram for everybody to see, especially our local boxing. I'm a guy old fan. I was rooting for that little kid. To, to to become something. And uh, he started getting a lot of fans and all that on the Instagrams and stuff. And, you know, he, he's a little speed demon, like Julio said. He, he, he throws the punches. At, uh, but even I, when I found out, I thought, I thought based on his last three performances, okay, uh, from when I initially seen him, and, and, and I initially seen him and uh, Ivan, Y'all know Ivan, that middleweight, Ivan uh, Vasquez. Yeah, right. I, I've been keeping my eye on them two guys, right? And, of course, of course, COVID hit and fucked us all up. Right. But, but I've been seeing Gallo up close. I mean, he's been on a podcast a couple of times. This is the first time I got y'all guys on. I think I told Ryan that a long time ago. Anytime you got guys, come on, man. Let's do the podcast and, and put them out there. So, so it's Absolutely. been an open invite. Am, am, am I right or wrong? Absolutely, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, but I've had Gallo on the podcast, I believe. Uh, I didn't get Ivan, but I, we did a post fight when I was trying to get uh, when I was trying to get uh, uh, Julio, but y'all was excited and all that. And I understood that, right. man. Y'all go, <laughs> and you had a bunch of people there. You had a bunch of people there rooting for you, man. So I get it, and I knew we had, when, when 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 I talked to Riley, we'll do it. We we get it out the way anyway. But so I root for that kid. I'm not. What I'm saying is I'm not a detractor. I'm not – I wasn't rooting against him, really. Right. I just was asked what I think was going to happen, and that's what I thought was going to happen. But what it was, based on the last couple – because when Robert run, won his ABO Junior welterweight title, right, Gallo, it was on the next fight up card. Shout out to Joe and uh, Forrest. And they put the show together in the middle of the pandemic. There was no – you know, they had a very small – Crowd, you know, they're, right. they're just trying to stay active, and I appreciate the opportunity for my kid. But uh, guy, you fought on that one, and he fought this young kid. I, I forget his name. Uh, he's a local guy, and he was undefeated, like three and zero fight. But he's like a uh, he's like a karate school kid or something that's boxing now, and so it's very, it's, it's, it's he's very. And, and bless his heart, I seen him at Maine the other day. We've been in camp, you know, for, for Quentin's big fights. Right, so right. We, we've been working with uh, Old Shot Foster. We've been working with Regis. We've been working with Shakur in Colorado and we, and, and uh, uh, Austin Trout. We've been working with all the great – we're fighting this, this, this left-handed uh, gold medalist on, on the 26th. So I seen that same kid there at the gym, and he was in that sparring, you know, and somebody was giving him a business. But – that guy gave Gallo trouble, not not boxing, like just awkward movement, and right. and, and 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 chuck the jab to the chest to keep him still so you could get him. He didn't do that ever, and I was going, man, this is uh, this is kind of frustrating, you know, because I'm like, 
it still got all the potential in the world. And I just ain't seeing the uh, the uh, fundamentals, you know. So 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 then Ryan's at the gym, we spar, and he said, Coach, at the end of the spar, he goes, Coach, you see how my kids fighting the guy? I said, I said, yeah. Uh, why are they doing that? <laughs> and he said the same thing. He said, why? I don't know. <laughs> but they called me doing it, so we're doing it. But I figured with – this is what I figured. Julio's experience, Julio can fight. Julio can make you have to fight. And there lies the problem. Because you're not going to be able to pot shot Julio with no pressure. You're not going to be able to do that. Because – if anything else, he's coming forward with a punch. He's gonna make you fight. So I said, I said, man, this is this doesn't make sense to me, man. So it wasn't that. <clears throat> again, I gotta be, I gotta be impartial because of what we're doing with the podcast and watching the fight. But goddamn, Absolutely. I'm gonna tell you what I see. I'm gonna tell you what I see, and I'm gonna tell you what I believe is gonna happen. And uh, it went, it went just like I thought it was gonna go. Uh, so when they told you, you was you you wanted to make sure. That they really was gonna fight, that they really yeah. was gonna do this. I was it's funny. Really. It's funny. Mismatches is funny because it always happens like that. Sometimes you, you, you like, why are they fighting this guy? And then you can't understand it. But it's the other guy. It's the other guy. His squad missed the boat. They, they not. They must didn't know much about it or see, you know, just looked at his eye. Oh, we'll get him. But a lot of coaches look at the records, man. Records don't. Nah, that's paper, man. Especially in 10, 15 fights, man. Some guys, some guys look at look at Clay Collins, who we fought and look oh, what yeah. he went to do. And people thought, oh, he got three draws and he's two and two. Man. Then he went on a run on top rank and ran yep. his shit up. You know, I saw, because I saw when, I saw when a, a Q fought him and uh, you know, Q did his thing, man. And much shout out to Q, man. I, I, he's another hard to fight. fighter, man. That was a rough fight, and I knew it going in because I watched him, and I looked him up, and I seen the MMA fight. I went look at his MMA fight. I ain't no MMA guy, but I could see the motherfuckers fight and take take shots and come forward. So I told him, I said, we're going to fight this guy safe. I don't give a fuck what he does. I don't give a fuck how it looks like. And we won. We, you know, we dominated the fight. But the thing is, we boxed. We boxed, boxed, boxed. And so a lot of times, I think coaches or whoever, they, they, they look at records. And they, but they don't look at the fight. They don't look at the tendencies. They don't look at the guy fighting. And maybe that's what happened. I don't know. I'll give them the opportunity to come on if they want, and they can tell me. But but so you so 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 you felt about like me, and then uh, y'all just got ready and took the fight, huh? That's it, man. Yes, sir, man. It was, it was, uh, you know. I mean, that's the thing with Julio, man. He's a, he's a great, um, very disciplined, man. Very disciplined. So when they, when. When they told us about the fight, I mean, literally, bro, he was maybe a couple of pounds off fucking fight weight, man. So it was like, we just worked. The training camp really was just on the game plan. We didn't even have to worry about weight, man. So, so it didn't matter who, who was in front of you, but you just like who reached out to do the fight. That's what happened. Pretty much, they man. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, seriously, man. It was like, and and like I said, man, we who knows it too. Like we 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 know uh, Juan. Like you know, what I'm saying we're not real close to him, but we know him. We he sparred him. He came to my gym before. Like we know he very respectful kid, man. Dad us up before everything, man. You know what I mean? So we got nothing but respect. And like I said, it's nothing personal. It's just business. You know, it was just you know we took the opportunity. And we appreciate them for the opportunity. You know? Oh, oh, y'all ain't do nothing wrong. In fact, y'all did everything right. So no, 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 no. This is still a. This is still fighting, man. It's still a business. So uh, I tell you, man, it had to easily. Would you say uh, it had to be upset of the night, man? I mean, everybody, which shows you why I always say fucking fans, man. Fans are the worst. Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> everybody thought. Everybody thought the young kid was coming to win. You know, he'll win, and then they'll crown him and all this shit. But. It don't go like that when you got a fighting man in front of you, bro. I didn't come. Listen, man. I, and I tell people, I say, man, look, the best thing a fighter could do, a, a fighting man, because we know there's a bunch of people ain't fighting men in this game. Uh, but, you know, 
when the guys talk or fans talk and all that, they shouldn't be able to get you excited or incite any kind of response because the truth is, the contract is signed, brother. I'm going to be there. You may show you that. I'm going to be there. You know what I'm so, Absolutely. And, and that's, you know, uh, I was watching old, I was watching old uh, Wilder and, and, and the Big Gypsy, and, and they did that face off and all this here, and, and, and they standing there, you know, looking silly. And finally, when uh, Wilder took them glasses off, which everybody who knows anything, you don't put no glasses on when you're looking at each other, because that's hiding. <laughs> right. And, and it's unconscious, too, a lot of times. Them kids don't even realize they're doing that, right? That's why you'll hear fighters say, take them fucking glasses off, man. Let me look at you. Let me see you. Yeah, so, absolutely. So, so while the fighter took them glasses off, soon as he took them glasses off, the big gypsy said, you know what's about to happen to you. And he turned around and walked off. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say, man, this this is a fighting man. Look, all your bravado, you, especially for Wilder, hey, Wilder's the American man. I, I tend to root for my countrymen like everybody, right? But but with, with the excuses and shit, nah, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you you no longer I'm no longer a supporter. So so when the big gist is saying the, the big gist is telling you exactly what he's gonna do, just like he did the last time. And and because you didn't go back to the gymnasium, and I'm gonna make this come back around, fella. Because you didn't come back to the gymnasium. And say, this is how this man whooped me. And I need to fix this, that, and the third. The same thing's going to happen or worse, bro. That's my prediction. Or worse. Because the minute, the minute that big boy hits you in the mouth, all them excuses and shit is going to go out your head, mind, and you're going to say, uh-oh, this is the same thing. Similar to, similar to when Mike bit Holyfield and shit. Yeah, he went in there and threw a few vibes, but as soon as he rather hit him, boom, oh, shit. Here yeah. we go again. His response, rather than uh, quit or whatever, was you know trying to hurt him back, and he couldn't do it with the gloves, so he bit him and shit. But but this guy here couldn't do nothing. I mean, I would tell a lot of the people to to go back and rewatch that second fight. Man. That shit was bad, man. Was that brutal, shit was man. Very, very bad, bro. That's a, that's a, that's a that's a you. Ch I believe personally, Wilder went into that fight one man and left another. And oh, yeah. and to me, all his all the antics and all the excuses and all the bullshit is proof of that. It's showing you this guy. This guy is, is fucked off. And then he went and got a guy to train him who took a dive when he fought. Didn't even get hit and went down. And I this is the that. guy that's gonna train you, bro. This is the guy who's gonna fix you. I ain't even gonna get into the technical aspect of what I'm seeing when they hitting mitts and all that shit and how all that shit's wrong for this kind of fighter, a seven foot guy. You come in there fighting small, you in trouble, bro. So this, 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 I ain't even gonna get into that shit. This shit's gonna be bad. Now, I said that to say this. Young guy wants an immediate rematch. You better understand you lost. You better understand there was a problem in there. And you couldn't get some shit going. Cause if cause if and it seemed to me at the end of the fight that you know, we can't always be in check of our emotions. I'm sure you 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 two guys have been mad and angry and acted out of character at times. Oh yeah. We oh. all we all subject to that, right? And then we gotta try to make amends if we meant. But his initial reaction to losing was I didn't lose. Like I seen him shooting his thumbs down and like like he was robbed and all that. You wasn't robbed, son. There was nothing robbed in that fight, bro. That you you couldn't get nothing cracked. You was moving now. Maybe you wasn't hurt. From my vantage point, I didn't see him get hurt. Right. Julio maybe could tell me if he if he rocked him a little bit. I don't know. I couldn't see that. But you definitely lost the fist fight. And in order for you to make some uh, some, some some adjustments and try to try to win. You got to accept that, man. You got to say, this dude, I'll, this dude was better than me. He beat me for whatever reason. Correct. Go, go back to the fucking gym and fix it now. And of course, Julio's got to say, this kid didn't want to lose. This is his career. Uh, he's got to, he's got to fix this if possible. 
So he got to try to give me back in the ring. So definitely he's got to pay for it. Oh, absolutely. And secondly, and secondly I got to be on my shit too. In case he goes back to the gym and somebody says, look, dude, this is what happened. Absolutely. And, he, and he's smart enough to go, fuck, you're right. And he starts training, right? So, 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 so you got. That's why I made that wild comparison. If 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 a guy you know, goes back to the gymnasium and does his little speed videos and shit, thinking that's gonna be enough, that, that it's not. That didn't no. get you. You didn't win like that, man. So, so the young fella, and I don't want to see nobody. I don't want to see. Well, unless I don't fuck with you. If I don't fuck with y'all, care crash and burn, motherfucker. Right, but, right, but. Guys, I don't have no. I don't want to see nobody lose. I, I want to see that everybody. Says, I know what it takes for this life, this this fighting man's life. I know. I understand the sacrifice. I understand it. And men like Julio, I'm sure Julio, you married, kids and stuff. Yes, sir. Family. See you know what I'm saying? This man got a family, bro. This 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 man is trying to feed feed people, man. That they depend on. So so I don't want Julio to lose in the rematch. I don't want you to lose, sir, at all. Go in there and do your fucking thing. Show them why you won. Uh, yeah. And 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 guy, you know, I'm gonna tell you the same thing, son. You better fucking adjust. You better fix what happened, or or it, it's it's gonna go the same fucking way. So I want all these fight men to be successful, man. But it's very imperative that that the guys accept what happened, bro. Otherwise, you can't. You're not gonna be able to fix it, man. Yeah, you can't, can't fix it for real. It, bro. And we got and we got little adjustments as well. You know what I mean? Like, believe it or not, we're gonna do a little adjustments as well for the rematch because we're gonna know, you know, he's gonna come with it. You know what I mean? So, like you said, I'm sure Julio got things he wanna do better, and 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 he's gonna go uh, I wanna uh, adjust his fitness when I did I'm sure there's things you wanna tighten up on. You know what I'm saying? Right. First of all, if you like me. I don't want my kids to get hit, period, ever. So you can always fix that. <laughs> of course, of course. But, man, I tell you, man, I know y'all was proud, bro, that night. I know y'all yeah. was proud as hell, man. And that, and that, hey, who know you had some fans in that motherfucker, man. Yeah. Bro, you had a lot of people in there, dude. Hey, you know, you, you know when you say that, man, it's funny because when we came out, man, no lie, man, like, you know, I was like, I already know, you know, we all know that Juan brings a fucking big crowd, man. You know, he's yeah. a... Yeah. He got fans, yeah. right. Absolutely. So when we came out and, you know, I heard the noise for Julio, man, that shit threw me off. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, damn, okay, this is gonna be fucking fireworks, man. Where I was, where I was directly in front of us to the right, it seemed like a 100% Julio crowd. And then farther from us on the on the on you know our left, that was where Gallo's people was, you right. know, like in his corner in his area. But I tell you, man, that was a hell of a fight, bro. Uh, hell of a fucking performance by you, dude. Uh, Thank you. Would you say how how many fights you have total now, Julio? I got ten now. Ten fights, bro. Is this? Would you say? I don't know. I haven't seen all your fights. I've seen you fight before, but I ain't seen all of them. Uh, did everything come together on this night or what? Oh, yeah. Did you feel it? You was moving and grooving or what? Huh? I said you was moving and grooving. You felt it? It was yeah, rolling. Yeah. Everything was right, huh? Everything. I felt like everything. I've been in shape, man. I knew I wasn't gassing out. You know, I, I felt good. I felt I had energy. You know, I, I, man, I felt, I, felt, I felt more confident than any other fight. It showed, bro. You was firing on all cylinders, man. It showed, man. Ronnie, who who you had in that corner with you, Ronnie? Uh, we had uh, um Renee, we had Renee, and then we had a uh, coach Rome. So I was I was happy that we had a uh, um Renee, you know, because he was the cutman for everybody. But you know he uh, yeah, he, 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 I like him, bro. That's my dude, man. Who yeah. is Rome? Who is uh, Rome? Rome He's a uh, he's a um strength he's a strength and conditioning here at uh, actually Julio's at our gym. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. shout out, yeah. shout out to, shout out to Coach Rome, man, because he really yeah, freaking, uh, he really worked out. Uh, Julio, man, had him, you know, not just myself. He's a big team, man, but he had him, he had him ready, man, with his strength conditioning sessions, man, for sure. Yeah, and with uh, with Julio saying, you know, he never did falter, he never did feel uh, tired or nothing. Shit, he had everything to do to win too. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. You know, I believe in credit, man. Shooting yeah. that credit out yeah. to them people, bro, because if he's a strength and conditioning coach, man. That's what he does. So people need to know. 
you know, he, he had his guy ready, man, uh, on point. How many rounds was that fight? That was six, right? Six yeah. rounds. Did you guys uh, chop it up with uh, wine? Why Curio, president of ABO after or what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good dude, man. Absolutely, man. Good dude, yeah. man. Real cool dude. Yeah, that's my guy, bro. And I tell you, what I like about it mostly is uh, he, re he really don't give a shit if, uh, you know, as far as the records and, you know, like, oh, I promise you he wasn't rooting for either guy. And I promise you the guy who won is who he wants to have representing uh, the ABO, man, bro. So, so uh Wine is good as gold, man. He tries to help out any way he can, and and and, and I would suggest y'all build that relationship with him, man. To keep you know keep going because uh, it's been like I said, uh, we Robert won the ABO title, but before Robert, of course, El Fonso was ABO champion. Uh, uh, Boo Boo Andre was the ABO champion. Um, what's my girl out of Chicago? The undisputed. Uh, She's undisputed now. Be sincere, you break us twice. Jessica McCaskill, she was an oh, ABO right. champion. Yeah, yeah, bro. So I mean, it's a, it's good company, man. And 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 wine really just wants guys who's gonna fight. You know what I'm saying? Who's gonna Absolutely. fight and represent the, represent the title, man? So uh, I'm sure he was. I'm sure he was excited too for y'all winning, man. Uh, so the champ, we gonna go take his. He gonna take his uh, makeup vacation. Right? Yeah. And then uh and then uh get back at it and hopefully uh negotiate. Now listen, I, again I'm impartial. I ain't in your business, I ain't in their business. Right. right now I'm just I'm just media, right? With a gang of boxing experience, right? So so I'ma just say to me, it would be beneficial for Julio to grant that rematch. Because right now, it's worth something. Right now, LT Great Pilot can't wait to put y'all back in the ring, man. Because if you got a following bar tickets, he got a following bar tickets. They think, if they think they was robbed, great. Keep on thinking that. Buy the tickets for the rematch. Oh, no. Julio got, Julio got, he got to be the fair. I'm on, hey, I pick every time. If I'm if I'm familiar with the fighters, I pick before before the fights. Yeah. Uh, you got to be the favorite going into the fight, bro. Uh, if this was Vegas, I don't gamble because of religion, but everybody gambles with me. I know they they to say, "Coach, who's gonna win?" I'm gonna say, "The dude who who's plus three hundred, go put your money on that guy because he's about to win the fucking fight." <laughs> but so so I mean, you know what I'm saying? This is. If you go fight two more fights, if Gallo fights two more fights, heaven forbid Julio drops a decision somewhere or something, then the fight ain't worth nothing. Then right. they don't gotta get they don't gotta get in the ring with you. Because they gonna right. say, ah, they gonna say, ah, I got robbed and look, he lost. Right, so right. It's incumbent. It's incumbent to hit it while it's good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and, absolutely. And, and, and for him, for him too. You know what I'm saying? I need to, hey, I lost this fight, man. He got a big five on. He he got to rectify that shit, man. So I'm gonna enjoy it just like I enjoyed the fight night. And when y'all get back in there, I don't give a fuck who it is. I'm gonna contact the promoter see if we can be live there do the remote. I think, Randy, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck with you on this too, bro. There's a way for the fights, you know, the big fights like tonight. They got three full show, right? There's a way in our podcast uh, uh, app. We could do, and it's just over the phone, right? But it turns your phone into a microphone and headset, and I could patch y'all in. Like, like if we said, all right, me, you, and Julio was going to call Marlene's fight tonight, right? But we all watching our TV. I do the thing. Now me, you, and him is calling Marlene's fight on the TV. I can make an episode out of it, Right? I think I'm gonna start doing that content, bro, because a lot of these, a lot of these commentators ain't shit, man. They don't even know what they're looking at. I and, and I need to learn how to not cuss and shit when I'm calling the fights. So I want to practice, bro, and put that up there, man. I think that'll be live, man. Hey, I and, think that's a also, dope idea. But it's also a way when it goes up on the YouTube, right? That you say so boxing podcast calls 
Marlins fight, and you put the little clip so they'll kick you off. You know what I'm saying? Right, they'll be right. listening to us. But you say, you know, ABO takes his champion, Julio Sanchez, uh, Coach Ryan from round for round boxing, calling whoever's fight. You know what I'm saying? I think that's right. another way to get some content out there, man. That's valuable. That's, because a, that's, a, lot that's of time, a great idea. That's a great idea, man. A lot of times I'll be watching the fights, man, and, and just like Julio's fight, I'm looking. And even the judge, bro, one of the judges had you losing, man. And I know, like, man. You know, it was. It's I was thinking, man. I was afraid of that, uh, Coach, because I when uh when I heard that first, I told Julio, man. I told Julio, man, when we when uh, we went to distance, I was like, you know. And then they said fifty five, fifty nine, Juan. Man, I was like, wow. And then they said, even though when they said Julio, I knew it was gonna be a split. I honestly thought, even though in my heart I knew we won. Julio, no, we won. He knew it. But I was like, man, we might get. You know what I'm saying? You know. Yeah, but fuck that. Knowing it in your heart. And getting a loss don't help. Don't help our situation, man. And that's right. that's that. I don't know if y'all seen because I put did I send it to y'all, Julio. I put your fight up on our YouTube page with with our commentary. Right. Did you yeah. see that? Absolutely. And I see. And I called the fight straight down the middle, bro. Like I seen. You sure did. You sure did, man. It is. And uh and uh when I said when I heard that first call, I was like mm, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I no one should get. No one should get, and again, that was referee Green, who I have a good relationship with. He ain't never treated my fighters bad in the ring when he's refing. Matter of fact, when we fight local, I prefer him. I like that dude. He lets us fight. You know what I'm saying? Right. He, don't, he, right. don't, he tries not to get involved. I like, and, and again, bro, I don't know about y'all, but I thought the nice refereeing that L T Gray was class, bro. I thought the refs didn't get that involved, bro. They no, let they let them fight, fight, man. Yes, yes, that's yeah, beautiful, that's man. That's beautiful. But uh, it's boxing, man, and, and you judges just like fans, just like everybody, go into the fight saying, and I don't use the A side B, so that's a gimmick shit, man, because until it's millions, bro, you ain't no fucking A side, yeah. no B side. Matter of fact, you think you're an A side nigga? You paying the fucking guy over here to fight? So you what? You had, but but the the culture of fighting think like that, and of so they go they go into it saying, okay, this is young guy, yo, undefeated, been on a several. He, he was supposed to fight. win. He was supposed, supposed to win. Yeah, he supposed to he supposed to get his titles to go to his next thing, and then they look at uh, Julio same way guy on them looked at Julio. Oh, uh, you're 500 fighter. We got him. You know, we too fast or too cute or whatever the case may be. Not realizing this fucking man came to win tonight, right? right. So it might take it might take a judge with that preconceived. It sounds like to say fix. It's not a fix. It's right. it's preconceived notions saying, okay, guy was supposed to win, and ah, did he win that way? He didn't really get hit hard, so yeah, he was winning. Right? It's that simple. Where I'm looking going, no, 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 no. Who, who, who's, who's controlling the pace of the fight? Because he who, who controls the pace wins the fight. So who's controlling the pace? Who's being active and reactive? Now, active and reactive could be different. They don't mean you just throwing a thousand punches. Sometimes you throw a thousand punches and it's reactive because this kid is too sharp. So, so you got to be able to see that. But a lot of times, let's say it takes, and, and I won't speak for uh, Ralph Green, but let's say it took him four rounds before he realized, oh, man, Sanchez is in this fight. You know what I'm saying? And now he's still giving you rounds, but four rounds is in the bag. It's a six-round fight. Absolutely. That's how shit like that happens, man. So, Absolutely. And as, the, and as the underdog in a fight, whether you are or not, you always got to stay cognizant of that, man. And that's why uh, – not to tell coach's job or nothing. I know, I know, but me, you know, my kids, I train my kids, even in the amateurs, I train them to know when they get in the ring, look for where the judges are, see where they at. Uh, we need to box over there a little bit. We need to box course. over there a little of bit. Course. We need to box a little bit right here. And then, and then come on back to the corner. When the bell rings, you already here. Let him go walk back to the fucking corner. Absolutely. Ah, that's, the key, right? that's what I do. That's what I do. You know, you got to understand, man, where that referee is, right? You got to understand where uh, it's in, 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 in uh, 
Julio's a veteran, man. I seen it. I seen it when y'all when y'all would lock up. If he had hands free, ah, ah, he's working that motherfucker, right, man. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's I, I'm looking at the fight and I'm calling it down the middle, man. So I think it's incumbent for both of y'all, bro, to uh, to get that rematch going, man. Oh, no, and then go from it's there. A, and then go from month, there, man. bro. Yeah, it's a must. As a matter of fact, uh, shout out to a Tigre for uh, where fights happen. He just posted it, but yeah, man, for uh, for giving us the opportunity, man, you know, in that platform, man. So yeah, we're just waiting on a date, man, pretty much. But yeah, we're gonna definitely. That, that's a must, man. That rematch is a must. Uh, Julio, yeah. what you got, brother? Come on, man. Uh, you on, you on the social media? Uh, you gonna campaign? You excited or you just or you just? Ah oh, man, I wanna go to the beach or whatever with the fam. Nah, okay. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited for a rematch. You know, you know, I, I like I said, you know, I I, I think you know, thank for the opportunity, and I thank them for taking the fight. You know, you know, mm -hmm. that opportunity. And I never thought I was, you know, like 38 years old. Didn't didn't think I was gonna, <laughs> didn't think I was gonna have these bad boys, you know, next to me. My man, look at him. You know, <laughs> shining like new money, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, you know, you know I, I, that's a big accomplishment for me. You know, and you know, and then also, you know, you know, my made my kids more proud. Of, you know, saying of me. You know, that's you know. It's the, 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 the truth, truth, brother. It's the truth. Yeah. Hey, you know, like I tell my kids, you know, it's, it's just a number. Well, hey, as long as you do the work and got and stick to the ability, man, to take care of yourself. Yes, sir. Because you get in there, man. Now everybody can't do that. It's it's easy to say it and, and doing it is a different thing, but the guys who do it prove it all the fucking time. I'm gonna tell you. Uh and and and, and I told Robert, I told Robert this after he won the hundred and forty pound version of, of the title you have. I said, sir, I said, son, look, at the end of the day. You're a professional prize fighter with a winning record, and you want a regional title, which is important to get seen by the, uh, you know, the national titles. And then, of course, you got the regional world titles that the world people use. But it's all it's all stair steps. And you know how many people never did what you did. They never did what you did. So oh. forever, you can go on that fucking internet, type in ABO, American uh, uh, boxing organization, who's the 135 pound champion, and your name's there. Facts. Listen, Very don't shit on it. I just named the people who carry that strap. Don't let nobody tell you nothing, man, because you you did you 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 did something. Hey, man, my uncle, the guy who he ain't the guy who started the boxing, but he's the guy who started the boxing our family, right? He ended up retired, fought through the 70, turned pro in 69, and he finished in 70, 79, right? 25 and uh, three record, I believe. But my uncle never won a, a region title. This man walked on water, as far as my family was concerned, right? And then, and then, and then my cousins, and then my cousins, all great records when they died, but they never won a, 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 a any 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 version of a regional title or nothing. And this, my family goes back, like I'm saying, to my daddy fighting the amateurs. In the fucking forties, bro. And you did that shit, man. Listen, when I told Rob, I said, Rob, I said, you my champion, bro. First one. Hey, let's keep going. Let's get when 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 Quentin went out there and won the Nationals and was rated as an amateur in the world, bro. You the first one in my whole fucking family, my whole lineage of boxing, you did that. Now we're on the two fighting and all that shit, man. Appreciate that shit. Write that shit down, take pictures. This man. shit makes the difference, man, and, and I'm proud of you, bro. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, and I ain't got fuck to do with you, but I'm proud of you because it's something. You did something, man. I tell you, bro, it was tremendous. It was a tremendous win, bro, and you should be proud of it, and you should be ready, and you should. But with that comes that responsibility that when you get this, when you do this rematch, you better be in shape, man. I don't go shit to bed. You know, <laughs> people so do bad. it on the world scale. How many, how many people we seen? That fucking Andy Ruiz did something so fucking special, bro. So fucking special. I'm Irish. You guys are Latinos. This guy is the first, uh, I think the first Mexican heavyweight Mexican, champion. Man, yeah. He's a lat But how many Latino heavyweight champions they been? <laughs> Two? Something like that? <laughs> this guy went and won all the fucking belts, man. He won all the fucking shit. He shots, went crazy. <laughs> 
And then ate himself out that fucking title, man. Man. I'm a real ass fan. I'm not shitting on it. I'm a fan. Right. Did he let me down? You fucking right. But oh, he let absolutely. me down. As a trainer, when you stepped on that scale, you let me down. I knew. That scale don't fucking lie, bro. Facts. You 300 pounds, bro. <laughs> and this guy built like a brick shit house, and he went lost with it. You in trouble. You ain't going to hit this dude. And that's what yeah. happened. But So that that's your responsibility. And they've done it at the biggest, the top level, the small level all the fucking time, man. So I'm rooting for you, bro. We going to be keeping rooting for you, man. Like I said, I be impartial with my car. I'm going to call it down the middle all the time. I got to. I ain't gonna lie. So, 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 I'm gonna love to see this rematch and see what Gallo can improve on, see what Absolutely. you can improve on, and see who wants to be the champion. Man, I want to speak to them because I want to see. I, 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 I promise, man. I think we could be either co-main event or main event, man. Because everybody's gonna want to see this rematch, man. That's a fact. Why not? I, I ain't gonna lie. If, 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 uh, and I'll reach out. You know, me and Alfonso, we tied as alligator ass. That's that's waterproof. I'll tell it, bro. I say, I say, hey man, that 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 fight y'all had on him, and, and maybe he does. I know he's stepping on. He's, he, he, he's thinking about cruiser. I think he's thinking about cruiser, right? Maybe he do his first cruiser fight, put y'all on that cold man, bro. Somewhere, you know, either up in Cairo or in Galveston, whatever, man. That should be extraordinary, man. I, that should be extraordinary, bro. For, especially for local boxing fans, you know how much we got boxing here in Houston, bro. I, that should be live, man. That should yeah. be live. I, I agree, bro. I agree, man. Like, you know, you seen that. I mean, there was a good following for Julio, a great following for Juan. Oh. I mean. They, there's no way. There's no way, Chris. And uh, Chris is my guy over there at Tigre. But Chris, uh, Alfonso, and uh, what's my man? My Felix. man, Felix. Felix. There's no way in the world they won't have that sh fight on their show, bro, if it lines up right. There's no fucking way in the world. I mean, y'all had too much backing, bro. Y'all had too much fans, too much people there, and then and then the outcome was it was a shocker to right. yeah. to them, to the fan people. So, bro, I'm excited, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I love I love a good fist fight. What about uh? Did y'all pay attention? Who fought? Uh, did y'all get the pay attention? I'm, I'm sure after y'all fight, y'all really didn't. Y'all wasn't watching too much of the fights. No. Did y'all watch any of the early fights? Did they have a TV back then or no? No, nah, they didn't, but I was I was coming out. You know, we were coming out every now and then. Uh, we watched the first one. It was the uh, Savala, the, I believe it was the heavyweights. That was an upset, right? That was an upset, was absolutely, man. Yes, yes, it was. That was an upset. Yeah, he, that brought was up, upset. he brought up. He brought when we when he went to the locker room, man, everybody applauded him. And, you know, he, he fucking lit up everything. You know, the, the, that yeah. blue, that corner was fucking lit up. After that. What's his name? His name that was his debut, right? Uh that was his debut, yes. Yeah, Savala. All I remember is his last name Savala. The Hispanic the Hispanic, the Hispanic guy. Mexican dude. Yeah. Big boy, heavyweight, heavyweight. Hey, he got dropped. Remember, he got dropped in the first first he round. Got, he got hurt, bro, early. Yes. He got hurt. And got up off the deck and bang, bang, bang. That's what I'm talking about, bro. I like to see that real that fighting was, man, bro. Yes, man. That shit, that's what I'm saying. That lit up everything in the in the fucking locker room, man. I told uh I brought uh, my man, Mean Gene, right? He'd been on the show a couple of times, but Mean Gene was in that guy's corner. So I caught him walking by, snatched him. I said, hey, man, come here, man. And he told me, he said, uh, the big boy, the boy lost uh, prior to this. He said the, 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 the shoulder injury was real. Like they, he, he had surgery and shit on his shoulder or knees or something like that. Right. And he said, man, he said, Coach, when he couldn't lift that arm up no more, nah, I pulled the plug, man. So, so I, as a trainer, bro, I've stopped fights before, believe me. You don't oh, yeah. want to do it. Oh, yeah. You don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it every time if it's, if, it's, if it's a real thing. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I'd have stopped, stopped Wilder when, uh, when uh, Mark Breeden wanted to in the fifth. He didn't need that extra ass whippings, man. He didn't need none of that shit. So, so I, I believe, like I said, you come in, you can come in a fight and leave a different person and go home, and your kids don't recognize. You know, they they think something's off and shit. What's wrong with that? But this is this game we in, man. So, so I don't judge when a when a coach stops the fight. When a coach stops the fight, I'm all for it, man. Right, something's right. going on there. Something's going on there that shouldn't be going on. Right. Or that they're not used to. 
And it's better to err on the side of caution than than let your guy go out there and, and get fucked off with limited capacity to defend himself. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's on or whatever, whatever the case may be. So y'all didn't get to see uh Carmen, huh? Her, her day oh day. yeah, yeah. I, I was I, I saw it, man. What a what a fight, man. <laughs> man, that I mean, and I told you, remember when I saw you, I was like, that's going to be a good fight. But I didn't think that she was going to overpower Paisley like that, though, man. Holy crap. Hey, I was so impressed. Uh, and I had Paisley on after. Uh, I could, I, Carmen was like, y'all, I couldn't catch it. But uh, Carmen showed no. I thought the first round was pretty even. You could lead right. either way. You could, you know, right. Carmen probably won it, but but it could have, you know, there's an argument to be had for Paisley. Right, right. But but she never showed any signs of the nerves that I know had to be there. Oh uh, yeah. You know, pro debut, and then and then with Paisley being a a vet, I think she was like three and oh, four and oh, something like that. Uh, and Paisley came, bro. Paisley came, oh, yeah. bro. She was oh, yeah. shots. She was trying to get, you know, that's why I love women's boxing, bro, because, hey, Facts. you know, the fight, the women fighters go, bro. Like, if you hit them, I, I think it'd be uh, emotional or something. If you hit them, they got to hit you back. You got to right, get them right. back. So, so uh, but Carmen, man, she shined like new money, man. And, and, and she just kept coming, kept coming. I tell you, I think that was the difference. I think, uh, like Carmen said, she said she was catching a lot on her own as an elbow, but it was the fact that, she wasn't getting off. Like, she would catch him, boom, catch a shot, and, and just couldn't get off, man. Carmen was so uh, aggressive man. in and that fight, man. So. Beautiful body shots, man. Her body form, yeah. her technique, man. Wow, yeah, I was impressed, yeah, man. Bro. I was impressed. Yeah, man. Shout out to Carlos. That's my own boy, man. And, and uh, shout out to Lynch, old Paisley's trainer. That's really my guy over there, man. Bro, so, uh. Yeah, man, they had some great fights that night. And, and like I said, I thought y'all was upset of the night. Uh, I would have gave, you know, uh, Carmen probably the action fight of the night. Because she oh, yeah. was coming, bro. She was coming. Yeah. Not to say Julio was, because Julio was coming like a motherfucker. But, man, Carmen had to have it. She wouldn't be denied, bro. I, and, yeah. and, 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 again, Paisley Davis is a proven, up to that point, a proven winner. You know, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, definitely, man. When I seen it, I was like, wow. No lie, man. That show, that car was stacked, man. It was like good. It was it was good fights, man. I enjoyed it at all, bro. Oh, I, absolutely. Too, man. I thought, I thought, did y'all watch the other big heavyweight, the South Park? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, from uh, um, uh, Rashad Evans, I think it was. And uh, they the one that was a draw. Draw. I thought the South Park let it go, bro. I thought it was there for him to win. And I, I don't know why he went into cruise control, man, for the rest of the fight, man. I don't know if he, you know, them the big boys. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if, uh, he gassed a little. At the hotel jump rope and huh? Right. Oh yeah, 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 man. He, yeah, we, we, we seen it. It was crazy, man. He, he was jump roping before the fight. For what? I have no idea, man. He was he was shadow boxing out there in the hotel. I mean, it, it was it was crazy. I could have I've never seen something in my life, man. I was just like, wow. Out in the sun. Oh. <laughs> Maybe nerves, man. Maybe nerves, and he thought that'd burn burn it off of him. But you a big boy, man. You need to settle down, chill. That's what I was saying, Julio. I was like, wow, man. But look, he you know he pulled out a draw, man. I was like, I was I was like, wow. wow. He put yeah. He he, he came in there fighting. I thought he had something. I mean. That stick was there, and he had some good yes. movement. And the other guy looked like a bodybuilder, so I, I was expecting him to gas if he would ever throw punches. But, uh, yeah, they draw it out. And uh, who else on there? Hey, did y'all get to see Ray? Uh, oh, yeah. Ali? oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, I saw that one. I, I, seen, I seen improvement, bro. I thought he looked way better than, than he looked the last couple fights, man, defensively. Defensively, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm a fan yeah. of that kid too, bro. Correct. He wasn't getting paid. Shout out to yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. He did his thing, both of them, man. All right, y'all gonna tune in, uh, y'all gonna tune in to Marlin on the zone or what? Oh yeah, yeah, man, oh, for sure, man. We want to see that, yeah, that's yeah. for sure. It's about like uh two thirty, bro. You know, it's the zone. It's one of them off times that McGill fights gonna start early this show. Oh, I so didn't know it. Oh, two thirty. Yeah. Tonight you'll be fucking lost. She probably end up fighting about four or five o'clock or something, man. Uh, and then you got 
tonight you got uh, the local fights. Uh, you got the Cholo show, but we got right. Mike Angeletti on there. Right, Who right. Fight? Yep. We got uh, Miguel Flores. You know, after his last uh, that 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 problem he had in his last fight. So this is I was talking to him. He was like, "Yeah, hey, coach, this is just to get back in it in the groove of things." So I'm a big Mikey fan. So I, I'm gonna watch him. Uh, that's on Showtime. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we get a feed or something. You know, I don't know right. if they'll go live on the undercard. Uh, then you got a. Uh, Chavez Jr. Uh, Chavez oh, yeah. Sr. You see, he was overweight, man. Chavez I'm... Sr. And, and Camacho Jr. And then, yeah, yeah, Chavez Jr. Jr. The old Coke knows, bro. What's, what's up man. with that dude, man? <laughs> man, I bro. To see, I don't tie him. You know, a lot of people play that all oh, legacy shit to his dad and shit. Nah, right, man. Nah, man. Out here, man. Yeah, me neither. That dude was doing that. That dude was doing that to himself, man. And, Absolutely. And, uh, and and you know, uh, he live to lose. Oh, what, what, what? How would it suck if he lose to an MMA guy, bro, in a boxing match, man? That, man. That's some suck ass, man. I don't man. trust him no more, man. I nah, don't trust him. At this point, I don't trust I, he gonna stick it out. At this point, man, you know what I mean? Like, I hope he get fucking knocked out by this dude, man. For real, just because, he, you know what I mean? Like, he, I think it was, what, 180, the the, the contract, well, he was like two pounds over. Like, dog, you can't make 180 pounds, bro? Like, come on, man. That's just not working, bro. That's just not working. That's not doing nothing. Yeah. Julio, give me your, give me your, uh, give me your uh, top five pound for pound, bro. In, in in the game right now, just run them off. In it, yeah, who you got? Man, I got Pacquiao, Earl Spence, Crawford, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, two more, two more. <laughs> um, man, oh shit, I keep and then I forgot to say Canelo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Canelo and um, damn, man, I can't even think of. I, I, I slide you, I slide you two names that that's in my top five. I like that Tia Fimo. Yeah, and, like, <laughs> and I like, uh, and I like Tyson Fury, man. I think that kid. Man, I mean, he's got to do, he's got to do a gang a lot more. You yeah. know, like when we. For his legacy and shit, and as long as he stays on the straight and narrow, I think he will. I think anybody they put up there, he's just a, he's such a big man that can box, man. He's such a big, big man. man. He, he remind me of Muhammad Ali, no lie, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. He can float, man. He can float. He's, man. he's so fucking big, man. He can't fit. It's crazy, man. It is uh, the way he moves, you know. Do you watch? Hold oh, you watch the gals or no? Do you watch the gals boxing or no? The girls fight here and there. You got a you got a top three that you watch? Girls that you watch if you if you know they are on or whatever or see them? Oh man, so she's a so there's a man, I forget her name. She's Puerto Rican, she's from New York. Serrano. Serrano. Yeah, Serrano. Serrano. <laughs> <laughs> she bad, bro. She is bad, bro. <laughs> she is bad, bro. Yeah, you bad. know what else she do? She does, she does MMA. She yes, does MMA. Yes, sir. Is she undefeated in MMA? Yeah, she's yeah, undefeated. She's both. Amanda Serrano, bro. She don't get enough shine at all. No, dude. Oh, man, she and, don't. And guess what, though? I was fucking up because everybody knows I'm a gal, a woman's boxing fan. And I accidentally, I said, I said, then because, because, you know, I could rattle off 10, 12 gals. You know, that's world rank. And I used to never say Amanda Serrano, bro. So one day, one day something happened in that ring, you know, that new promotion, that ring uh, city, ring city. Right, they do right. out there in the parking lot and shit. She was the headliner, man. I just so happened to be watching. I said, how the fuck did I miss her, man? And and, and it's like nobody says her name and shit. And so I've been pushing on my pound for pound list and all that shit, man, because she is bad, bro. She is, man. She is bad, bro. Yeah, bad. I, I tell you, man. Her. Yeah, I seen her train, man. I seen her when we went to, uh, when I took Shane Car uh, to New York, to Gleason's. She was there, oh, man. She, yeah, man. She fucking trains. Like, yo, bro, she's, she's hard, man. She's bad or close, man. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I never, 
I never got to see her yet or meet her. And hopefully I will, man, because I'm a fan, bro. Yeah, she's uh, Of course, I'm the Clarissa Shields guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust that. Clarissa sure. Shields, Amanda Serrano. Uh, and I tell you, man, and I know that yeah, this is not politically correct because I have a girl here in Houston. But they got damn Sunisa, man. Sunisa, uh, 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 Estrada, Estrada, man. Yeah, Shit. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I want, I hope, hopefully, her and Marlene can figure out where they're going to catch weight and all that because, you know, we're rooting for the home girl tonight to win right. that world championship because you right. win that world championship, you could demand a lot more. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's Sunisa Estrada's bad, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. Anisha And then, and then we got, like I said, we got Marley. We got Michaela fights tonight. Yeah, Michaela. Oh, yes. top yes. Right, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, She's sir. Yes, sir. WBO, WBO uh, uh, title. Uh, yeah, bro. I love when she's cool, man. Action. I don't know. It's I don't know. Action, you seen, you seen the press? You seen the when the face off when the girl was like, man, she even yeah. she tried to hit she tried to hit her. She tried to hit her. She was like, yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. She fucking. She's. Let me tell you something, man. Danger, you know my guy, my kid Danger, right? Absolutely. Danger done been in the ring with Michaela, man. Michaela can fight, boy. Yeah, man, that, that woman ain't no fucking, and she's big. She's a big ass girl, bro. She yeah, ain't no yeah. small, no. she ain't no small fry, bro. She got high length, and then she got one of the best trainers in the business uh, out of Philly. Uh, shit, had David Reed and all them. He, oh, man. I'm going to be mad at myself. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, Coach K is with her too, but uh, uh, oh, it'll come. Shit. I'm so yeah, it'll, sorry, it'll come. Man. It'll come as we spill. It'll come. Yeah, 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 but but yeah, bro. I mean, hey, women, and, and shout out, you know, shout out to the zone. I don't have no relationship with the zone. We fought there a few times. But the zone does a lot for women's boxing, bro. They put the gals damn near on every card, bro. Even if it ain't, even if it ain't the. You know the elite gals. They put they they find somewhere to put them, even if it's them English gals or whatever the case may be. But they put them on a the card, man, and they need that because it. I, I happen to believe you know you gonna have the they say you gonna have people say I just don't like women. But then you right. have people that just don't like, them. and that's fine too. I just don't like the ones that's not really educated on it and have an opinion. Of nah, course, man. I agree. These women can fight, man. Oh no, These believe me, man. Fight, Trust me. They, Look, they man, I didn't. I, I was in, honestly, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I was in, I ain't watch no female boxing. I ain't, I'm not gonna bullshit here and be like, yeah, yeah, no. The only time I started watching was when my daughter started fighting, bro. Like, she started, you know, getting ready. I mean, you know. It made uh, it different. Made it, it made you understand they could fight. Yes. These girls can fight, man. Yeah, man, and then ever since, bro, ever since I've been, we watch, you know, like, you know who's her favorite fighter? Uh, Katie Teller. Yeah, that's bad. Man. Super bad. Out of England. The Irish, the Irish girl out of England. Yeah, yeah, I know you talking about. Yeah, yeah. Like, my daughter likes her a lot, man. So we watch her a lot. Uh, you know, we, but ever since, man, we've been just watching a lot of girls. And then, I don't know, from there it just started. And then I'm like, bro, there's some badass girls out there, man. Yeah, you'll, check, you'll, you'll see the right fight. And you'll be like, oh, okay. I get it now. And the ones, the ones who can't, they don't last long. Because this, right. this ain't like the 90s. This ain't like the 90s, bro, where... You had three or four women that could fight, and they dominate the whole thing. Now nah, these women, these women are elite amateurs and shit, my bro. And oh, they yeah. come out, and they banging out, bro. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Julio, where they can find you on social media, bro? What's your social media? Uh, Instagram is uh, I don't even know myself. <laughs> my wife is the one that uh sets up my stuff for me, but it's uh Julio Sanchez five twenty seven. 527, Julio Sanchez, and uh, are you on the Facebook and stuff, or no, yeah. just Instagram? Facebook, yeah, just too. Julio Sanchez, Julio Sanchez, man. Hey, bro, I'm glad y'all came on, man. Uh, appreciate you having hey, us, man. Hey, bro, and 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 when a rematch gets set up or whatever, y'all end up doing hit me up, bro. And uh, that's a bet. I'll make sure Fresh is on so we can get on, uh, because I'm gonna take this, we'll put it on the YouTube and all that, but. Fresh is out of uh, he, he he's handling some business right now, so he couldn't do the uh, the laptop thing. So right, that's right. why he came on here, man, so we could do it. But I'm gonna chop it up and do the same shit. I'm gonna put it on, you know, on the different platforms and shit, bro. Try to get you out there, man. Uh, uh, sure. 
Yeah, bro. I'm glad to talk to you, man. It was an extraordinary fight, man. Strong, uh, tremendous performance, bro. And uh, that's why I wanted to get you on that night, man. So I'm glad we on here and made it up. Uh, yes. I'm rooting for you, bro. I'm rooting for you, man. And, Ryan, you did a good thing, man. You got the guy. You got the kid three years, bro. Y'all went one something, man. It fell in your lap. It fell in your lap, and you took advantage of it. Absolutely, like man. To, but you yeah. can't you can't take advantage if you ain't ready. So yes, you did your job. You did your job, man. I appreciate I that. Appreciate y'all, brother. Uh, shout out to my man Shane over there with y'all. That's my dude. I root for him. I hope he stay in the gym. Stay in the gym, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, he got a fight coming up, July third. Oh, okay. Where at? Uh, Brian. Brian Station. Right. Oh, y'all doing the College Station thing? College Station, yes, sir. Uh. uh and, and what about my man, the skinny one, brother, one I like? Uh, um, oh, Clay. Clay, 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 Clay. Clay. Yeah, he, he he's, back at it. he's back at it, too. He's back at it. He's uh, he's doing his thing now. You know, we got him, hopefully, uh, August. We're trying to get him to fight in August. All right, that kid's the box, man. I hate to see him disappear, man. He's fun to watch, too. Yeah. Uh, and, and the baby girl's going to fight or what, man? Finally, yes, sir. September 3rd in the Texas Women's Championship, man. Uh, okay. All right. Well, shit, y'all busy, man. Y'all got any other pros over there? Or, or, yeah, or, yeah, we got uh, Mike Land. My, matter of fact, Mike Land, uh, shout out to Mike Land. He, uh, uh, you know, unfortunately, I couldn't go uh, to the fight on June 11th, uh, but we went over there with Undefeated. His name, nickname, El Gajo, too, and uh, 4 0. And um, Mike Land dropped him in the last round and everything, man. Uh, you know, when uh, we got a draw. So you already know how that right. goes. How much you weigh? Uh, he's uh 126, 130. We fought at 130. Okay, okay. Good deal, man. Let's uh let me know what's going on with him too, bro. So we can promote him, man. So he can, yeah, I know what's going on when he got fights or whatever coming up. Uh absolutely. Appreciate y'all. Like I said, Julio, man, great thing, bro. You did something that's gonna be there, bro. Uh you okay. should be Thank proud, you. man. Y'all keep winning, man. Stay together, man, and keep it tight. Already. Hey, when yes, you sir. find when, when you find some people find a winning formula out the gate, some people have to find a winning formula. But when you find it, ride it to the fucking wheels fall along, bro. That's my opinion. Absolutely, man. I uh, and, and thanks again, man, for everything. Absolutely, man. I appreciate y'all, fellas. Right, yes, man. sir. Go. All right, man. God bless.